Sometimes we want to use a method called stratified random sampling. So in this case, we're going to stratify or divide up our population into groups. And then we're going to randomly select proportionate numbers of items from each of our strata or each of our groups. So here in example seven, uh, they ask us, well, the student body at all of that is about 40% male and 60% female. Uh, how would you select a stratified random sample of size 100 with gender as the strata? So gender are the groups. So we want uh, our sample to be 40% male and 60% female, just like the student body is. So this will, this will ensure that that one characteristic of gender uh, has the same um, structure in the sample as it does in the population. Whereas if we just did simple random sampling, it might be off a little bit. Now, if we did continued simple random samples, uh, we should be representative. But we might not get it on uh, as well on the first sample as we do when we stratify. So while we want a sample of size 100, so we want that sample to be 40% 40, 40 male and 60% female. So what we're going to do is uh, we are going to um, divide the student population up. So divide our population up as male and female. And we will randomly select 40 males. And then, uh, let's see, this is randomly. And then randomly select 60 females. So that ensures that our sample of 100 here is 40% male and 60% female. And we've still employed the randomness in selecting each portion of the sample, each strata of the sample.